the Houston Dynamo got their first win on the road last Sunday in their 3-2 win over the Chicago Fire at Toyota Park. Although they took an early lead in the fourth minute thanks to Raul Kyoto, a defensive lapse at the back led to two goals by the Fire to put them up early into the first half. The Dynamo didn't let that discourage them as they were able to fight back and earn a penalty and then the game winner while holding down the lead until the final whistle. The team returns home to face New York City FC Friday evening. The Dynamo have been up and down at home besting teams like Atlanta United FC 4-0 and Toronto FC 5-1, but they've lost once to the Vancouver Whitecaps and the New England Revolution at BBVA Compass Stadium. The Dynamo will need to do what they do best against a very talented NYCFC team and they'll need to stay dialed in for the full 90 minutes. The game against the Fire showed us that even a two-minute lack of concentration can be extremely costly. Wilmer Cabrera will once again be limited with his options especially in the midfield and along the back line due to injuries. The defensive midfield options are lacking with Juan David Cabezas and Darwin Surin still on the injury sheet. That should mean Eric Alexander and Oscar Boniek Garcia in the starting lineup again after solid outings against the Fire. Slightly above them will be Tomas Martinez in a more attacking midfield role. Up top the starting three should be unchanged from last week with Rommel Kyoto, Marl Minotas, and Albert Ellis all getting the call. Kyoto and Ellis each found the back of the net against the fire and Mauro Minotas drew the penalty that helped level the game. Cabrera showed late in the game his willingness to adjust his formation, but these three are likely to be the starting forwards. The back line is very difficult to predict with so many injuries. Cabrera could opt to rest Demarcus Beasley for newcomer Adam Lundquist after a relatively short turnaround, but I think Beasley still gets the start at left back. Andrew Wenger is a no-brainer at right back until a J. De La Garza returns. Centrally, I think we see Alejandro Few in Mayor and Adolfo Machado again. Ewan Mayer has looked better as a left center back in my opinion and still needs to acclimate to MLS, but he is improving. Injury report out, D, A, J, De La Garza, torn left ACL, out, M, Juan David Cabezas, left quad injury, out, D, Philippe Senderos, right hamstring injury, out, D, George Malky, left knee sprain, out, D, Dylan Remick, concussion, out, D, Kevin Garcia, left hamstring. Injury, out, D, Jared Watts, right hamstring injury, M, Darwin Karen, leg injury, my projected starting lineup, there are a ton of options, not to mention formations to play with so let us know who you think should be in the starting lineup against NYCFC.